Hey everybody, it's Matt here. I'm a camera operator with Drone Boy. And it's no secret that at Drone Boy, we're all a bunch of nerds. So when we get an off day, what do we do? More nerd stuff. Today, we've got our DJI Inspire 3 with a set of master wheels and the transmission system. And we're gonna try out how the integration works with the master wheels. It's a pretty slick setup. Uh, you can see on the card here, we've got our two RC Plus controllers, which is typically how we run on set. One pilot, one camera operator. As an operator, I've never actually used wheels in the air. I've used them on armed cars and cranes and stuff for a while. So trying them in an aerial situation is definitely gonna be, uh, definitely be something interesting. So the way we have it set up today is we've got a, a DJI transmission hybrid monitor hooked up to the three channel follow focus. This is paired directly with the drone wirelessly through the O3 transmission protocol. And then from the monitor, we've got a CAN bus cable hooked up to the master wheels with uh, which with the new firmware update and the Ronin 4D communication protocol. Uh, we've got full pan and tilt control of the drone and the camera. We've got the ability to recenter and we've also got roll stop control through the master wheels as well. And also I should note that through the monitor, uh, we've got some rudimentary control of camera settings. So like white balance, shutter speed, iris, we can change our ISO. Uh, the only thing you can't do is you really can't change uh, recording formats and stuff like that. So you'd have to go on the pilot controller and, and set up your, your formats and stuff. So it's not perfect, but I mean, it is pretty cool. You, anyways, we're gonna go for a test flight and it's gonna be cool and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, you should get on there and make it look like you're doing something intelligent. Well, it doesn't happen very often. You ready? Yep. All right, drones going up, watch yourselves. All right, gears going up. So how'd that go? It was good, it was good, I liked it. Um, it was definitely different. Um, I mean, I, I've done for what, like almost seven years now, I've done aerial camera operating with just sticks. So it's kind of weird just how your brain gets wired and then going to a different method of operating and definitely I can appreciate the precision. I think and you were I think you were smoother all around. Yeah. I mean you're smooth normally. Yeah. But I mean then there's sort of these weeble wobbles, you know, when you move or when you reposition mm -hmm. and, and those are usually outside of the shot. Yeah. But it seemed like I mean you can't you can't not be smoother with those. I mean yeah. obviously there was some times when we lost stuff and we had, it was like getting being dynamic and getting to a shot doing sort of run and gun stuff was a little harder. Yeah. But it seemed right away it was pretty pretty solid. Yeah, like re reframing was a little difficult sometimes just when I had to do a quick reset because um, now that's one thing I want to talk about too. It kind of took me a little bit to get things dialed in in terms of the acceleration, like the pitch curve. Um, it took me the smoothness, like the dampening on the wheels and the speed and stuff like that. It found me, took me a little bit just to get a happy medium um, between all those and kind of find a groove. But uh, yeah, no, I'd, I would definitely do it again. Well, um, more practice, but first time, yeah. first time using wheels on the Inspire anyway, that's friggin' awesome. Man. Pretty slick. Thanks. So in our whole testing of the new DJI ecosystem with the O3 transmission protocol and stuff, I was curious whether the master wheels, whether we can get them to work with the RS3 Pro, because we use the RS3 Pro for all of our gimbaled FPV work on, the, on our Beast. It was kind of cool to find out that we can get the master wheels to work with the RS3 Pro through the transmission module. So we've got the transmission module with the Limo to USB-C connection going into the RS3 Pro. And of course, you know, we've got the hand grips on the monitor that we can control roll stop, control focus and stuff. But if we plug a CAN bus cable into the back of the monitor and hook that up to the master wheels with the Ronin 4D protocol set, how slick is that? So yeah, I mean, it's not something they advertise, but it was something cool to find out uh, that, you know, it's, it's always an option. 